As a hematologist and a pediatric oncologist, I get this question very often. I treat children with low platelet counts and most often than not, the reason for low platelet counts in children is ITP. So ITP, what is ITP? How does it happen? Is it curable? These are questions I've already answered in some of my previous videos. But specifically when it comes to children, this immune thrombocytopenia or ITP is um, something very alarming for parents. The way it presents, it's usually with low plated counts, but of course that is often picked up only on testing. But for a patient, for a parent visually, the children will develop either small dots, small red dots on the face, on the chest, on the abdomen, or bruises, which are nothing but bluish patches that happen either on the chest or abdomen or hands, legs, face. Sometimes it can present as random or sudden nosebleed. It can present as spontaneous bleeding from the gums. It can also present as bleeding in the stools or in the motions. This, when you see your child suddenly developing a random rash or bruise or having bleeding manifestations can be very alarming and anxiety provoking for parents. On the contrary, ITP or immune thrombocytopenia is a very controllable condition. Especially in children, um, the type of ITP that occurs is called acute ITP or it is called acute immune thrombocytopenic purpura which is, it is a condition that happens very spontaneously and also resolves most of the time on its own or with minimal medical intervention. So why does acute ITP happen in children? What is the reason? One of the most common uh, medical uh, deductions or uh, reasons we know is children tend to have a lot more viral infections. So when they have a significant type of either respiratory viral infection or it could be a skin related viral infection that triggers their immune system. They're still growing and developing immune system in such a way that it becomes hyperactive and those antibodies or part of their immune system starts destroying their own platelets. Now, is it very harmful or is it life threatening if children get ITP? Again, yes and no. Yes, because if the platelet counts drop to a very low extent, so normal platelet count is between one and a half to four lakhs, but if platelet counts drop to less than 20,000, there is uh, anxiety of life-threatening bleed, especially in the brain or in the abdomen when it comes to ITP. Is it curable? It cannot be cured exactly, but if it is acute ITP, as I said, with very minimal medical help, as in starting a very small medicine called either steroids, or giving one or two doses of what we call IVIG, it can be completely resolved. Acute ITP is usually a condition that takes no more than six months to resolve. And if it persists beyond that, or sometimes persists beyond one year, then we call it something called chronic ITP. And this chronic ITP is a condition which, again, cannot be cured, but it can be controlled with the help of medications. So to answer this question, is ITP curable in children? Um, it's a simple, as I said, yes and no. It depends on the type of ITP. If it is acute ITP, it tends to cure itself or with minimal medical intervention and observation with regular uh, blood checks and visits to the hematologist. If it is chronic ITP, then it requires, again, medications, very rarely injections to keep the platelet count in control and it has to be treated sort of on a longer term basis sometimes extending up to even five or six years and may require the patient or child to take medications for a prolonged period of time. If you have any questions regarding ITP, whether it's in children or in adults or any other blood disorders, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, hematologist. Uh, I work as a consultant in Helios Hematology and Cancer Clinic. Thank you.